Have you ever wondered if turmeric, the golden spice known for its numerous health benefits, could also be beneficial for your nerves? Well, prepare to be amazed as we embark on a fascinating journey exploring the unique healing properties of turmeric for your nerves. In today's video, we'll venture into uncharted territory. In part one, I'll cover how turmeric works to heal your nerves. Then in part two, I'll reveal how much turmeric you need for nerve repair. And in part three, I'll tell you how to incorporate turmeric into your diet. You don't want to miss this. Coming up. Hey, health warriors, Dr. M here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy and start living again, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now, let's dive in. Turmeric, a staple in Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine for over 4,000 years, has been revered for its anti-inflammatory, digestive, and wound healing properties. Its journey into modern scientific research began in the early 20th century with a significant milestone in 1937 when the structure of curcumin, an active compound in turmeric, was first identified and reported by scientists. Since then, studies began to document the antibacterial properties of curcumin and turmeric. Then later in the 1970s, researchers uncovered turmeric's powerful anti-inflammatory effects. But since the 1990s, researchers have made groundbreaking discoveries about turmeric's potential to protect peripheral nerves from damage, repair damaged brain neurons, and even diminish cognitive decline. More recent clinical trials have focused on turmeric's healing capacity for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, Huntington's, and spinocerebellar ataxia. So let's start with part one, how turmeric heals damaged peripheral nerves. First, I want to clarify a common misconception. Many people have heard that curcumin is the active compound in turmeric that provides the healing benefits. Well, the fact is curcumin is not the only powerhouse in turmeric. There are literally thousands of active compounds in turmeric that provide an immense array of health benefits from potent anti-inflammatory agents and antioxidants to pain relieving properties. These agents are collectively known as curcuminoids. And yes, this group does include curcumin, but it also includes so many other powerful healing agents as well, like tumorones and zingiberine. When you consume turmeric, it can help repair peripheral nerves through the combination of these compounds. So let's look at how this works. This plant has the ability to inhibit most pro-inflammatory pathways. Curcuminoids can suppress inflammatory cytokines like interleukins and inflammatory enzymes like COX and LOX pathways, which are known to cause significant neurodegeneration. Now, let me give you a quick refresher on a large factor that causes damage in the peripheral nerves, the brain, and the spinal cord. Free radicals, which are highly unstable molecules caused by oxidative stress, can wreak havoc with nerve health. Due to the current toxic load on our bodies, oxidative stress is at an all-time high, which is a large part of the reason that peripheral neuropathy cases are escalating along with neurodegenerative diseases. Fortunately, turmeric has amazing antioxidant properties that neutralize free radicals. But besides containing its own arsenal of antioxidants, turmeric can directly increase the body's production of glutathione. This is one of the body's most powerful antioxidants, whose role is to protect cells from free radical damage. It also supports the detoxification pathways, which helps to minimize cellular damage from chemicals entering the body, and it plays a critical role in supporting the immune system for healing and maintaining healthy cells and tissues. This protection is crucial because oxidative stress can worsen nerve damage and hinder regeneration. So, in many of our talks, I want you to notice that Dr. C or Rai will keep circling back 
to how important it is to reduce systemic inflammation, and that's inflammation throughout your body, and neuroinflammation, or inflammation that targets nerves. Now, this is so important because without reducing inflammation, it's extremely difficult for nerves to heal or regenerate. Here's where it gets more exciting. Research has shown that the bioactive compounds in turmeric don't just protect your peripheral nerves, your brain, and your spinal cord. They also promote neurogenesis of your nerves. That means turmeric promotes the growth of new healthy nerve cells. It does this by increasing levels of BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is essential for the survival, the growth, and the maintenance of new healthy nerves. Now, I bring this up because you'll be hearing a lot more about BDNF because it's the hot research topic right now. Scientists have discovered that this molecule plays a crucial role in brain health and the growth of new neurons in the nervous system, your peripheral and your central both. Scientists have also found that the compounds in turmeric enhance nerve growth factors. Both BDNF and NGF support the growth and repair of damaged nerves, and they stimulate the regeneration of the nerves in the brain, spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system. That's huge, guys. Studies have also found that curcuminoids remove and prevent the formation of beta amyloid plaques in the brain by up to 40%. That's the placking associated with Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> Gang, I want you to realize that this isn't just great for peripheral neuropathy sufferers. It's also an incredible finding for anyone suffering with neurodegenerative diseases. Okay, get ready for an important side note, health warriors. Curcuminoids improve mitochondrial function and decrease mitochondrial oxidative stress. The reason this is so important is because over the last 10 years, Dr. C and I have noticed a growing trend in the number of neuropathy cases with significant mitochondrial damage. Here's yet another incredible benefit of turmeric on your nerves. Curcuminoids can control the activity of pain receptors to reduce pain signals. This is huge. Get ready, gang, for another important side note for those of you who are pre-diabetic. Turmeric prevents pre-diabetes from transitioning to full-blown diabetes. Medical researchers who conducted this double-blind placebo-controlled trial study also found that curcuminoids increased insulin sensitivity and improved the function of pancreatic beta cells. These are the cells that produce and secrete insulin. Wow, I can't tell you how much I love sharing this stuff with you guys to allow you to take back control of your health. Okay, let's get down to part two, the best way to take turmeric. Eating turmeric as a whole is always the best way to go when you're trying to maintain your health. So we're big advocates on adding turmeric to your diet. And I'll share with you different ways you can do that a bit later in this video. However, if you're already afflicted with a disease or a chronic illness, let's say peripheral neuropathy, for instance, you can't possibly eat the amount of turmeric necessary to supply your body with the concentration of nutrients needed to heal your nerves. So although you still want to eat fresh turmeric, you'll need to take a supplement to get the necessary amount for repair and regeneration. Here's what you need to know when taking a curcumin-based supplement. If you live on this planet, undoubtedly you've heard that curcumin has poor bioavailability, meaning it's not absorbed well in the body. Therefore, it must always be taken with piperine or black pepper to boost its absorption. Well, get ready to hold on to your seats because I'm about to shake your foundation. Although this statement is accurate to a degree, it's grossly misinterpreted. Let me explain. Yes, it is true that the biologically active compounds in turmeric, whether taken as a whole food or a supplement, don't have great direct cellular absorption. But here's where the information goes awry. Your body is not dependent on the direct absorption of turmeric to reap the amazing health benefits. Several research studies have recently been released that have found that your gut microbiota does most of the work to utilize the healing power of curcuminoids despite turmeric's poor bioavailability. 
Researchers have found that curcumin interacts directly with the gut microbiota, the microorganisms in our intestines, for a symbiotic relationship. First, curcuminoids help regulate and make the gut microbiota healthy. In turn, the microbiota then transforms curcuminoids into high concentrations of other compounds that provide all of the incredible benefits we know to be associated with turmeric. So normally, you hear all of the experts say to make sure to take black pepper or piperine, which is the active compound in black pepper, when you take turmeric or curcumin supplement because this will increase bioavailability by 2,000%, otherwise it won't work. Well, it definitely increases the absorption by 2,000%, but the latest research shows that it's really not necessary. Now, this is controversial, so I'll definitely include this research study below so you can look through it for yourself. I will say this, if you have GI issues like acid reflux, IBS, or any of the other gut issues, I would definitely take pepper along with your turmeric because with significant gut dysbiosis, it may take a while for the turmeric to heal the gut enough to utilize the bioactive compounds, so it doesn't hurt to play it safe. Here's another interesting fact. You always hear health experts talk about taking black pepper with turmeric or curcumin. But what about white pepper? Well, white pepper actually does a better job at increasing turmeric's bioavailability. So you can use either black or white pepper. They both work well. Now let's talk about how much turmeric you should take. Studies have shown that beneficial doses, doses range between 500 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams. Now, that's quite a wide range, so let me narrow it down for you. With the study I went over involving prediabetes, they used 1,500 milligrams of turmeric daily. For my patients, I'll normally prescribe between 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams daily. The great news with turmeric is that it has no serious side effects, unlike medications. The worst reported incident from consuming too much turmeric has been GI upset. I know you're going to ask me in the comments which brands I recommend, so let me go over a few with you, and I'm not getting paid from any of these companies. These are the brands that Dr. C and I use for ourselves or we prescribe for our patients. I like Thorn Curcumin Phytosome Capsules along with Gaia Herbs Turmeric Supreme. I also like Pure Encapsulations Curcumin 500 with Bioperine and Premier Research Labs Turmeric. You can't go wrong with any of them. And if you're worried about absorption, simply, simply take one peppercorn, white or black, and swallow it with the capsules. Okay, on to part three, how to incorporate turmeric into your diet. So here are some very simple things you can do. Dr. C and I put turmeric in our smoothies all the time. You can also make a homemade turmeric tea. Don't buy turmeric tea bags because Turmeric oxidizes very quickly and you won't get the therapeutic benefits from it. You can make golden milk, also known as turmeric latte. This recipe uses milk or nut milk, turmeric, maple syrup, cinnamon, and black pepper. It's delicious and nutritious. Now, put turmeric in your soups or make a curry dish. It is fantastic. You can also add it to rice or add it to any of your egg dishes, um, quiches, frittata, omelets. You can find any recipes for all of these things I just talked about on YouTube or just Google a recipe. Also, using curcumin spice will not provide the same therapeutic benefits as using fresh turmeric. This is because curcumin oxidizes very rapidly, as I mentioned before, and there's no telling how long the spice has been in the bottle. And there you have it, health warriors. Turmeric isn't just for your favorite curry, it's a powerhouse for your nerve health too. From reducing inflammation to promoting the growth of new nerve cells, turmeric's benefits go beyond what you probably imagined. Whether you're fighting off neuropathy or just looking to boost your overall well-being, turmeric is your golden ally. And before you go, I have a small favor to ask. It's our mission to create a neuropathy-free world, and we need your help to do that. Please like and share this video with anyone you think it might help, and please don't forget to subscribe. It helps us get more co great content out to you. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We're all in this together, so let's harness the power of turmeric and start healing from the inside out. I look forward to seeing you 
on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. Miracle Latte. This recipe use recipe. <laughs> This recipe! <laughs> okay, let's go back. 